Hey guys, Danny Mullen here. I want to talk to you about installing a track light. This is a flexible track light setup. It's got six tracks, six lights on it. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and install it in the kitchen right up here over my head, actually, uh, right about there where that fluorescent light is. Um, anyhow, it is a six light GU10 style. So that means the bulbs, they look like this guy here. Um, if you use the halogen bulb, they are 50 watts, but I am actually going to install Philips U so I can control the color temperature and the brightness of them. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. So let's get started. First, you have the, the lights themselves that I just showed you and the Philips, Philips U looks very similar to this. Uh, but this is actually a halogen style bulb and, and it's got these funky shaped things. That's what for a GU10 style socket. The other thing that comes in the kit is going to be these light holders. So these are actually going to strap onto the track using this right here. It's going to strap onto the track itself and it's just going to clip and snap into the track and hang there. Now this is a flexible light system, so this is actually the track here, and if I put my hand up, well, I can't bend on that short thing, but it's actually, it's actually a flexible track. So it allows me, it's currently it's coiled, coiled up like this, um, instead of being straight, and we're going to go ahead and shape that the way we need to. The other thing we need, since it is a flexible one, uh, we need some holders and these are actually going to screw into the ceiling and the track is going to go through right here and it's going to hold the track in the place that we set it. Um, okay, so what I have going on here is that my beautiful wife will demonstrate is if you look down there's a piece that goes right there that hangs actually goes into the box of the light so that'll go right in the middle so I've marked the center of the track and then what we did was we put it down I held that in place and then she came around the other side and then we marked each where each of the holder pieces would go which that's the first one there and then the second one there and we did that by basically flexing the track to the shape we wanted and then once the track was in the shape we wanted, we, we, we marked those two where the holder went. What this will allow us to do is get some measurements with the tape measure, and then we'll basically copy this pattern onto the ceiling and go ahead and install our track. Okay, so what we have right here is, I actually have the uh, track holder installed. This is actually the centerpiece of the track. Uh, what you can see, and this is the reason I'm changing the light, is if you look right here, this is actually some burn spots that were um, that were in the ceiling from the fluorescent light. And it's actually interesting that those spots are there. That's one of the reasons I'm get changing away from the fluorescent light. The other thing is the fluorescent light covered up this other box, this other junction box that was up here. That was from the original light fixture probably that was in the house and since the fluorescent one was so big it didn't matter to patch that so now that's going to have to be covered up with a blank plate because remember we don't want to cover um, junction boxes with sheetrock they need to be accessible via electrical code and then later on when the recessed lights and some other model remodeling gets done here in the kitchen what we're going to go ahead and do is those boxes will be moved and recentered and everything will be brought into one actual one junction box and that'll make it a lot easier um, for future light installs so that's what we have so far we're going ahead and um, we drilled a hole for putting up the next uh, holder it's uh, up here and that will go up and then we'll start putting up the track and marking it i'm very thankful to my wife I'm very thankful to my wife who did all this work uh, with me sitting in my nice comfortable chair and the reason for that is I'm actually currently handicapped I uh, have some back problems so this actually uh, I'm thankful to have a great beautiful wife 
who's willing to get up on the stool and actually wire some electrical. This is the first time in her life she's ever installed a box on the electrical and put up a light fixture. So I would say if she can do it, anybody can. That's my encouragement for everybody out there. But remember, always think safety. So if you're, if you're not confident and you're unsure, hire somebody because that's what's gonna make a big difference. All right, so got the light fixture up. Um, let's see, we can see it kind of behind me. We'll get a better picture of it here in a few minutes. Uh, my wife's not completely in, done installing it. She's still got one more piece over here on the corner to install. Uh, but when she gets back uh, from picking up the girls from school, she will go ahead and install that. What I wanted to talk to you about was the lights that are actually gonna go in here. This is my piece, doing the setup of the Philips U lights. And so this is actually the product that I'm gonna be putting in here, uh, the selfie mode, so it's a little backwards. But we'll have pictures on my blog uh, that I'll put links in the video description to the blog post about this with a lot more details. But these are the Philips U GU10. And so they're the same shape as that other bulb I showed you earlier, but they're a Philips U brand. And this is, let's see, it says white ambiance. So what that allows me to do is it allows me to control the white. So, you know, you can have warm white, cool white, um, and different there go by the Kelvin temperature of the light that's emitted from the bulb so what it does is it allows you to control the brightness and it allows you to control the temperature and so these are going to go up there and then using uh, the home automation system in my house we'll go ahead and be able to control these bulbs so after about two hours or so total work time, because I had to give several instructions, the brochure said about an hour. So I'd say about double the work time was good for uh, having my wife do it that, you know, I, she had to listen to my instructions, uh, barking orders from the, my handicap chair. Uh, anyway, but this is, this is the finished product and I'll go ahead and I'll do a couple uh, pictures normal but over my head you can see I have three of the track lights they point towards one side the kitchen and three of them point towards the other side the kitchen and you can actually see it's got a nice brightness to it uh, from you know the brightness over the cabinets and the counters and that'll definitely be enhanced once we get the down lights installed uh, so we'll see but that's it finished project uh, remember there'll be some links down in the show notes below and a link to the blog post that goes into more detail. Thanks. Have a great day. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.